Hello everybody on YouTube, it's Michael here and right now I'm showing you the Yamaha PSR270 keyboard on this keyboard here you have 61 full size touch sensitive keys you have 238 voices 110 of them being panel voices and 128 of them being GM voices and you have 100 auto accompaniment styles, each containing four fillings, two variations, an intro and an ending. The only styles that don't have the fillings are the pianist styles, but they have two variations, an intro and an ending each. Then you have the six track sequencer here, so that you can record songs, you can record up to three of, re three of your own songs on this keyboard, and you have reverb, chorus and DSP effects in which I will show you later on in this video and you have dual voices and split voices so the dual voices, I'll show you that now you can layer up to another voice so say piano and strings for instance and with a split voice I will show you later on in this video and you can have one sound on the left hand side whilst another is on the right hand side and also you have this metronome as well and many more features that I'll show you in this video first of all I just want to show the example of the um, track sequencer that you can record up to three of your songs I'll show you that now so we record, record track number one Now we will record track number two. And then that's done, we can record another track. We'll do, go for track number three. So now I can play all that back. here chord guide so I put on there say press it for dictionary that's it it's on the dictionary so that you press one of these keys and on the LCD screen here you'll get a chord in which you have to match so I've got a C chord here for instance but it doesn't make a ding dong sound however if you get the correct chord like it does on my PSR GX76 which I showed before and you have a um, smart functions of it there. And you have EZ chord guide which 
you only have to press one key and it plays all sorts of random chords like this. <laughs> So that's the, the chord guide feature. And let's just say, for instance, like I, um, I'm, in, I'm on a different sound and I'm on a different rhythm. But if I want to go straight back to piano, there's a piano button here. So one touch of that would take me straight back to the piano voice. And also there's a button here so that you can turn the velocity on or off. So it's off now, so I can press lightly and I don't get any touch sensitivity until I turn it on. And also you have um, tuning. Complement and song volume and metronome volume, and, and you can transpose the keyboard as well. Now, most of the functions are in this button here, and you get all sorts of functions here, like the main voice, dual voice, split voice, effect, etc. I'll show you that now, and also. I forgot to tell you in the beginning of the video, each rhythm has here two one touch settings. So when you select a style and you press two one you press these one touch setting buttons here, it will give you the one touch setting for that rhythm with a different voice in it. So I thought I'd tell you that now. I'm gonna go through the functions. Most of the features are on this button here. We have the main voice volume. We have the main voice octave. Main voice pan pop, reverb and chorus and DSP level. And now we have the dual voice volume, dual voice octave. So if I turn on the vo dual voice, I can change the octave of the dual voice. We have the dual voice pan pop, reverb, chorus and DSP level and here I can select any dual voice just like the main voices the 238 sounds also occurs to the dual voice and split voice So also that's just an example of the dual voice as well. That two voices can be laid at the same time. And you have um, split volume, the split voice volume, the split voice octave, pan pot, reverb, chorus and DSP level and split voice. I'll show you that now, a split voice. I turn on the split voice so that I've got one voice. On the left hand side of the keyboard, I'll go through some examples. We go split voice. So here's the right hand, and here's the left hand.
So that's an example of the split voice. And you have other functions like split points so that you can choose where you want your complement style to start. It, it usually starts from this side of the keyboard, but you can have it anywhere like here or here, anywhere. You could have it on a whole keyboard if you want, but you have nowhere to play the melody. <laughs> So, not advisable. And we have reverb effects. I'll show you them. Hopefully, the camera will pick up the um, reverb types in here. So there's uh, the reverb types, and now that I've showed you the reverb types, I better turn off the reverb so that you can hear the DSP effects once I show you them. And we have the chorus effects as well. We'll turn on chorus so that I can show you the chorus types. chorus types, hopefully the camera picked them up. And when it comes to effects, we have now the DSP types. We'll turn on the DSP so that we I can show you the effects. The first eight DSP effects are the same as reverb. So hopefully the camera will pick them up. So those are the DSP effects. I know not all of them could be picked up from the camera, but those are the DSP effects. And we have harmony effects as well. Um, we'll turn on the harmony and have harmony type. Some of the types need to have the auto accompaniment style turned on. So you get the harmony like
So those are the um, harmony effects. Then we have a function for the user bank. And for the foot switch and the touch sensitivity, whether you want it soft, medium or hard, will turn it off. And there's uh, the function for MIDI. So that's just about all the features of the PSR 270. I will now end this video by showing you some of the sounds. So this video is going to be part one of three, showing off the 238 voices that are on this keyboard. Here we go.
So that's the end of part one of showing off the sounds and features of this PSR270 keyboard. Stay tuned for part two where I'll be showing you some more sounds. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.